Yo, hello, hello, anybody homes? Hello, my friend. Yes, long time no see. How you doing? Today I'm gonna back with another master cam tip on uh, the the surface tone pad and the tip today is about the water line. Yeah, I can pretty sure that uh, you use this tone pad so many many time and I don't know if sometimes you can you feel that this tone pad is so confusing you feel that sometimes it's stupid and yes and uh, sometimes it's uh, go crazy yeah and the tip today is about how we can trim um, the waterline tone pads uh, okay uh, first, uh, just want to talk sometime the water about. I want to talk something about the water line. The water line in a tone path is a high high speed 3D tone path is uh, uh, is is similar to uh, the traditional uh, finished contour. Yeah, this is a water line tone path and and the old old tone pad is uh, we can compare it with the, with the contour yes the surface finish contour this uh, this tone pad is um, maybe uh, uh, suitable for 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 the steep surface yeah steep and vertical surface and um, yes they not work uh, well on the, the shallow area and shallow surface so the water line is the the high speed uh, version of the the finished contour and yeah they have some uh, common uh, parameter yes uh, some uh, some common property and yes yeah just look at this on the screen uh, this is uh, our sample part today and I'm gonna show you um, what what problem we have when we use the, the water light tone pad to to finish machine this one yeah that's just a, a simple uh, part with the uh, vertical uh, vertical wall just yes you can use uh, um, the the 2d contour to finish the wall yes no problem yeah this is just a, a simple part that I can find to, to make it an, an example yeah okay and I want to, uh, for example, I want to finish the wall of of this part, and I select the waterline tone pad, okay, and then select a containment for the the tone pad, okay. Uh, I got a tool here, a six millimeter flat cutter, okay, and the wall, the stock to lift. Okay, maybe this is a finished operation, so I leave no stock, no material on the, on the park, and uh, you go to the cut parameter. I select the clamp merely, and uh, step down value maybe two millimeter. Okay, we have some uh, important parameter. Okay, okay, and tool containment because I select this. Uh, Chain as the boundary, so I want uh, to the tool to stay outside of the boundary. Okay, we can move to outside. All right. Boom. And ping. Okay, let's see what we have here. See that? Okay, this is the high speed tool pass, so it gets a, <laughs> a smooth uh, lead in here. Okay. So this is our waterline tool pad. You 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 can see, yeah, this looks smooth, right? This is a original waterline tool pad. Uh, yes, do you think something uh, stupid here? Yeah, we got here. You can see, we have, as you can see, we have no material here. And also we have no material here, so this is a small park, so maybe there's no problem with this, but 
if you have some big park some uh, complex park like some uh, mall or something uh, you will see uh, you can see the the confusion yes this can be a waste of time here you can see when the tool move here it's got no material like here you see that no material here to be cut and yes you waste some time here and some time here and if if you uh, have experience working with uh, the 3d tool path uh, like this sometimes you will create some check surface here and this is the check option so we can select a check surface and uh, someone will create some check surface here to uh, to make sure that the tool will not cut into the air area yeah but on many park uh, you have some uh, integrated check surface that you don't think it can be used so today I can show you okay all right we, we go to the check surface here ping okay and you can see we all we have uh, available surface we can be selected for the check surface yes we don't need to create a additional check surface because we have all of them here we just check it check all of them okay so I don't want to tool move this to the area I just selected ping ping oh sorry ah uh, shit okay we activate the solid face selection and just pick all the face it here two okay and ping let's see what we have yeah you know the surface can be used as a check surface and maybe uh, you 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 uh, never think about us <laughs> yo phew ah, you 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 okay let's wait a few minutes okay it's done let's see what we have yeah you can see that oh you can see so now we can el eliminate uh, uh, the air cutting over here and here You, you can see there's so many retraction because uh, we have selected the clam milling the clam milling uh, strategy so uh, clam here so um, we always have the the clam cutting direction that's why the tool retract here so many time yeah the clam milling uh, uh, yes it's uh, mostly provides a better surface finish but if you don't want so many retract you can change to uh, the zigzag motion here and ping do it again um dun, 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 dun. okay it's done let's check it again in 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 yes you can see that and this uh, our park after we apply the uh, the check surface yeah the tip today is there's some um, available surface that you can use at a check surface but uh, you don't even think about them so today after this video you can uh, yeah maybe you found something <laughs> You can use the available, yeah, the lower surface on the park to use the check surface with no problem. You don't have to create additional check surfaces. Yeah, that can save a lot of time and you don't have a, a, a lot of surface. Uh, yeah, this makes some shit. We don't need to create any, any additional surfaces. That's a good thing. Yeah. Okay, so, and this is another example why we need this okay I have uh, another level here you can see if the park has some uh, arm here this one on the left and this one on the right and 
look at this they have a different height this is on the higher and higher position and this is the lower position you can see it's at the, the different um, z level and so uh, i'm gonna create another flow light tool path i will copy this one Control c and Control v we have another tool path and um, now i'm trying to machine uh, this arm and this arm in one operation yeah I want to say that it's just one operation you can see uh, the stupid of this tool pad okay all right we uh, we, we, we reselect the right the try surface I click on this and I click on this and I don't want the tool uh, to be cut into our park here so I select this uh, feature as the check surface so it makes sure the tool not cut into this uh, housing okay uh, for this case we don't need the containment okay and let's see what we have here Ooh. boom la 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 in, 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 in. yeah you can see that this is bullshit <laughs> you can see that with the waterline tool pad and yeah maybe in the, the surface finish contour you have the same problem the tool will always move to the the lowest the lowest uh, position yeah if you machine this one and this one at the same time the tool will move to the, the lowest z level you can see this is the lowest z level and the tool and on this arm the tool also move to this level and that's bullshit a lot of air cutting move yeah nobody wanted it right this is really stupid and yeah somebody will uh, i think uh, some someone will uh, try to uh, uh yeah create some uh, check surface uh yeah like this uh, ta -ta. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, let me create some uh, surface like uh, this. Okay. Yeah. Eat. Okay. I think uh, someone will just uh, yeah create more additional surface and they can use this as a check surface hey. and we add it at another check surface and um, yeah yeah and I'm sure you can solve the problem now yeah with the check surface uh, the tool will not go lower than uh, uh, to this Z level so but you see what uh, we have to create a surface and just think about if we have 100 uh, 100 uh, feature like this so we need to create 100 check surfaces that's crazy yeah and the parks will look like a mess you don't want it right nobody want to see a surface like this yes so we don't need this because as uh, I told you before we all always have some uh, surface underneath the park here and we can use them at the check surface very convenient right just check on them right and uh, pick it pick it pick it and pick it yeah cool right Choo. okay baby come on choo, choo, choo. all right check it again and yeah you can see that okay now is look good right okay so you can see by uh, selecting the available uh, uh, by selecting the existing surface on the park we can trim the, the waterline tool pad we can trim the unwanted move yeah we can call a stupid move of the tool pads uh, yes yeah, so uh, 
with this trick you you don't have to create additional surface to you at a check surface right and it can save uh, a lot of time yes a simple uh, trick today and I hope that can help you in your work okay thanks for watching and goodbye for now happy new year